Point of care technologies are important uh, in, in our particular area of interest, which is low resource settings, um, because many times people will come with symptoms of a disease, travel many miles, kilometers down the road, often down a path, unpaved roads, um, perhaps carrying their children, missing a day of work to get a diagnostic and treatment. And point of care technologies are very important because without them, that sample that's taken that day may have to travel days to go to a, a laboratory for results. That person goes back to their village with their child and, and perhaps is never seen again um, for treatment once those results come in. So our objective with some of the technologies we're working on is to really uh, bring that much closer so that the diagnosis and treatment happens at the point of care uh, so that those people can go back to their communities treated and, and get back on with their lives quickly. We've been working on a platform called NIA, stands for uh, Non-Instrumented Nucleic Acid Amplification. Um, and the whole reason for this technology coming to being is, is because a lot of the, the worst diseases that uh, plague, say, Sub-Saharan Africa, for example, HIV and malaria are two really good examples, occur superimposed with a map of the least electricity available uh, density you know th th there's just not a lot of electricity available in these these areas uh, and so the traditional means of of high accuracy uh, diagnostics just aren't available to the majority of people in some of the areas that we're most concerned about at PATH. The core technology is called uh, chemical temperature control so uh, what's happening with our Nina core technology is that we're using a chemical reaction to exothermically create heat we create a nice stable temperature pro uh, profile for the chemical reaction by thermally coupling that with what's called an engineered phase change material and as long as we have two phases um, we can achieve isothermal temperatures um, what happens in the process of a person coming into a clinic is they give a very small sample through a finger prick, um, so 50 to 100 microliters of blood will go into a test tube that has what we call the master mix of all of the reagents necessary uh, to amplify RNA and DNA. Um, that requires heat, so that master mix will then go into uh, our chemical heater uh, for 30 to 60 minutes. And, uh, and then the results are another technology uh, that requires electricity-free detection. And uh, we're, we're pairing the NIA technology with some of the, the most innovative detection technologies that are out there.